Alright, in this video we're taking a look at another 20x20 20 20 flight stack. This one's from Rush FPV. And this has a 4-in-1 ESC, flight controller, and video transmitter. And it comes as a bundle here. It's about $115, I believe. And you also get your XC30, you get a capacitor, and your connectors here for the flight controller. And you get also the mounting hardware, long steel screws, and spacers. And all of these components are connect via pins, not uh, connectors between the different boards. So some of you guys are probably not going to really like that, but apparently they're saying that this is these pins are pretty robust. So let me um, let's start off with the um, four in one EC first. So by the way, this is called the the Rush Mini Stack, and it's an F7 stack. So this 4-in-1 EC is a 32-bit EC with M2 holes and it's a 30 amp and bursting into 40 amps and it is only um, rated up to 5S, not 6S, so that's a little bit disappointing. Got a current sensor here, obviously your battery lead goes here, and this is their pins here that go to the flight stack or the flight controller. So you can solder your motor wires here on either the top and it actually doesn't look like you can solder to the bottom. The bottom looks like it has some kind of um, conformal coating I guess so in case of uh, uh, water getting splashed on there should be okay. And what's interesting is the the order of the motors here so it looks like the battery lead goes out to the left here so if uh, this is forward then motor one's here, motor two's here, three is here, four here so that's kind of interesting, kind of different. I'm thinking that I'm orienting this based on the flight controller. And the pins on the flight controller right here. So it looks like it goes in like this. Which means that the um, front of the stack should be over here. Anyway, uh, moving on to the flight controller. It's an F7 flight controller. It has five UARTs and it has this kind of unique um, mounting mechanism for isolating vibrations for the gyro and this particular model has the MPU6000 gyro so it's underneath this little piece here supposedly is suspended by the this little cage, this little white cage here and uh, there's a little ribbon cable that goes to the bottom of the board here that is just for the gyro so, so it's an F7, 5 UARTs, um, Betaflight OSD, 16 megabytes of uh, black box data. It's got a 5 volt, 2 amp um, voltage regulator on board. And all of the connectors here. So we have obviously the 4 in 1 EAC connector on the bottom. The camera connection is here. And your receiver connection is here. And your LED connection is here. So you can kind of see the plugs are kind of different so let me just grab one of these it looks kind of like this it's got a little clip there to hold it in place and there's a little notch on here so it'll clip in like so and then lock in and then you'll have to uh, push this up to pull the uh, connector out so these won't fall out and crashes. Uh, sometimes it happens if it's a little bit loose. Alright, so we have um, buzzer pads over here for our buzzer and we have our pins here for the video transmitter. Connects there, you got your bootloader button there, obviously USB port there, and on the bottom not a whole lot. You have a pad there for RX5 and then you have some solder bridges here says here for, uh, for, for the receiver and also VCC. It says here 3.3 volts or 5 volts here. And set up some of those solder bridges. Then you have um, another solder bridge over here for 5 volts or V bin. I think that's for power to the video transmitter. And this is the video transmitter. I've already done a review on the video transmitter already. So the, um, it's the Rush FPV Tink. Ultimate Mini, I'll uh, link that video down in the description, but basically instead of using the solder pads here, they've elected to put some pins here and that's so that this can plug directly in to the top of the flight controller 
like so. It's going to go like that. And it looks like all the holes are going to be M2. Yeah, so these uh, long M2 screws, you're going to mount that. You're going to use all these little spacers in between the boards and then obviously connect all the boards together uh, via the pins. So anyway, just a little bit of background on the video transfer if you guys don't want to watch that whole video. It's basically a uh, power switchable video transfer, smart audio capable, uh, 25 to 800 milliwatts, I believe, on this one. And it's actually, this is a really good uh, video transfer. It's uh, one that I recommend. Very clean video. So I uh, expect nothing less from this on this stack here. Uh, kind of interesting that the flight controller can do up to 8S, I believe. No, the flight, yeah, the flight controller can do up to 8S. The uh, video transmitter can go up to 36 volts, but the 4 in 1 EC only is up to 5S, so it's kind of, that's a little disappointing. So you can't really use this on a, a 6S build. Anyways, so that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I'll probably put this into a build at some point fairly soon. I have, I have an idea what I want to use this in. However, I'm just curious what you guys think of this stack, uh, given the price point and given the fact it's an F7, 32 BDCs, all that. This is something that you would be using your micro, or would you just use like a you know standard uh, BLL ESC and like an F4 flight control or something like the Diatone Mamba, for example, which is like I think less than half of the cost of this. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.